Jesse Jacks cut his braids and got back with Chocolate City. Good move or bad move? Definitely good news for Chocolate City. Jesse Jacks is back. Jesse Jacks, the baddest, one of the greatest right now. Yes, Jesse Jacks. No you know, in his time, no arguments. Facts only. Jesse Jacks is back with Chocolate City. I think it's you know the best news we've heard in the Nigerian you know music scene in 2015. Do you think it's because Jesse hasn't made headway commercially? Well, all I can say is that, you know, it's good news for both parties. On Jesse Jack's part, I mean, you know, he left. He didn't want to further his contract um, and he left. A bit, you know, controversial because the label, you know, didn't announce or, you know, release a statement about him leaving and all that. He left abruptly. He put it out on his Facebook, you know. Um, back in 2013 uh, or 2012. Okay, so since then, Jesse Jags dropped two stellar body of work. It was Jags Nation Volume, volume one, 1 and, you know, the Royal Niger, Niger Company, the Volume 2. Two brilliant pieces of work. Jesse Jags is beyond... Another one this year. You know, he's dropping another one this year. Jesse Jags is beyond every artist on his level. Like, he, no artist is on his level right now. He's beyond every other artist. When it comes to lyrics, when it comes to beats, when it comes to production, when it comes to message, he is in a class of his own, okay? But all that has not been able to transfer or, you know, convert into commercial success, okay? So it means he was making fantastic music as an artist, but we didn't, you know, he didn't convert to commercial success for him. You know, what was what was his management doing, right? He wasn't signed to a label, he was indie, and he definitely showed, you know, in his music. I mean in, in, in his career as a person, right? So he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't successful. You know, his shows were fantastic, but people weren't coming for the shows. People weren't paying for the shows. Okay, so that was Jesse Jags, right? Now Chalk City, after Jesse Jags left and then Brimo left, Chalk City has been, you know, it's been a bit topsy turvy for them. So you think it's called Chalk City Two has failed in a way? I won't say they failed, but I'm, I'm saying they've dipped. They are not number one right now. Okay, Maven is number one right now. Chalk City isn't number one right now. But as at the time, they they packed the power punch because they had. MI, they had Ice Prince, they had Jesse, they had Brimo. The Chalk Boys alone was, forget the other artists there, the Chalk Boys alone, right, at CC was huge. Okay, so you take two guys out of there and, you know, two really talented guys and leave MI and Ice Prince who don't, you know, basically roll together musically. Ice Prince is doing his own thing, right? He's really pushing his own brand and doing his own thing. MI is pushing Loopy. You know, so Chalk City looks disjointed. So I think bringing Jesse Jacks back kind of cements, you know, everybody just glues everybody back. He will draw Ice Ice Prince back, right? And he also will draw Mi back. And you know, the music is back at Chalk City. You look, the four people at Chalk City, the Loopy, the CBN. What do you think they should do? I mean, right now they, they, there's something called Chalk Boy Nation CBN, right? Which encompasses of um, encompasses of. Uh, I think uh, um, 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 right. Chalk City, Chocolate City, Loopy Music, and all the other artists that are affiliated to the to the label. That is the likes of India, uh, Chopsticks, uh, Young L, right? Um, they plan to release an album this year. I think it's a very good move for them, where you know they could just display the area of artists they have under the click. Then you know gradually all the artists can start dropping solo material. Emma has already dropped you know his album last year, done well. He's trying to push his loopy guys, loose Ruby and the rest. I think it's just a big family, and I think they understand that family, <laughs> family is always family, and it's family over everything. So what should be Jack's new role? What do you think Jack's new role should be? I think Jack should go back to production because ever since he left, you know, production at Chocolate City has dipped a bit. Okay. MI doesn't look too involved in the other artists. Funny enough, he's the vice president, but he doesn't look too involved in other artists' career, you know. You know, so I think Jesse Jacks should move into music production, head of music production at you know Chocolate City, you know, be in charge of A and R because he's a fantastic producer and he showed that working with other artists can be very successful. We saw that with Brian Moore, we saw that with Ice Prince. Okay. So Oleku was still Smash. one of the best you know hits we've gotten out of this country hip-hop wise and that was produced by jesse jacks okay so jesse big move for both parties i think chocolate city can basically go back to number one or you know contend for number one if jesse jacks is back you know jacks is family yeah. do you think they should make a move for brian motor well 
I mean, it won't be bad to have Brimo back, man, because Brimo right now, anything that comes out of Brimo, Brimo's mouth right now is gold, right? So it, it won't be bad if they can get Brimo back. It's, it's a win-win situation for both of them again. Okay, but Brimo has been successful, you know, at least from iTunes sales, you know. I, could, I, could, I can't tell you how much he's made, but he's made quite, quite a number. He's, he's made money from iTunes sales, okay? So, but going back to Chocolate City would also be dope for Brimo, but I don't think he'd do it because he's tried to prove a point that, you know, it's a bit difficult for Brimo because Jesse is MI's brother, right? You could always talk it out. But for Brimo and the way he left, court cases, upon court cases, this person saying he's threatening to sue, the other person, you know, if he comes back, it's fine, but if he doesn't, man, they need to move on. So, Jags coming back is a good move for Chuck City? Jags coming back is a good move. The only thing I'm worried about is, will Chocolate City allow Jesse Jags to be free? You understand what I mean? Be as free as he has, as he has been in the last three years, making some fantastic music. Not your conventional music, right? Jesse Jags has been able to make the kind of music he wants to make and sell it to us, and he's been successful with that. Okay, so back at Chocolate City, will he be allowed to do that kind of music he's been doing, or would he be say, would they say, no, man, you need to go more commercial and this because we need to sell records? That's what I'm hoping to, you know, that's what I'm I'm looking out for. That's the biggest, you know, that would be the biggest scenario to look out for to say, hey, would Jags's Free hand in production, would it be you know tampered with back at Chocolate City? Facts only. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out more facts only, and don't forget to leave your comments behind.